So we have our patient in her first trimester here today. We're going to scan and have a look at the gestational age and the fetal heart rate. And then I'm actually going to send you some of the images and videos afterwards, which is really neat. So you can have them as a keepsake. So you're going to start scanning transversely here. You can see your full bladder. So I can see a nice gestational sac. I can see your baby there. Looks great. Fetal heart beating. I'm going to take a little video of that for you. Perfect. And we're going to keep scanning. That's a nice little profile view. Let's take a picture of that. Great. So we can see the heart beating there, Lisa. Looks good. I'm going to measure the heartbeat. I'm just switching to M mode. And I want to move my caliper here over to the heart. Excellent. And once I have a nice image, I can freeze and go to my tools and measure the fetal heart rate. About 180, which is normally normal in first trimester. Um, and then we're going to switch back to B mode. Excellent. Let's have a look here. Oh, it's a nice active baby. Let's take a little bit of a longer video here. The baby's very active, knows it's on camera. <laughs> Perfect. And then why don't we see um, how far along you are, what the gestational age is. So try to get the crown rump length. Baby's a little bit curled up right now, so let's see if the baby will have a stretch. We can zoom in here. There we go. And we want to take a picture. And then we can measure the tools and measure baby's crown rump length. We're getting about 10 weeks and six days, which is consistent with the last menstrual period. Great, so we have some nice images there. So let's uh, have a look and see which ones we like. So we'll just select a few here, Lisa and some videos, and then I can actually send them to you. Excellent, so I would just get uh, Lisa's email address here and get her uh, consent, uh, and then we can actually send her some images and videos from our visit today.